Hey guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting during to episode 4 of season 2 of Pretty Eater Beast. So let's go and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. <laughs> nice shoes. The dog crying. This dog. Come here. See, I don't know because I feel like, you know, Teo's level and her level are completely different. But honestly, really, who knows? Yes, she defeated McQueen and who knows what could happen in this episode. Cody, I'm not picking you up, dude. Oh my god. No. No. Go play. <laughs> okay, come here. No, 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 no. No. Come here. There you go. I thought this dog just hopped out of my bed and been like, I just picked you up. Just so you can hop back down. Closing in on her. <laughs> oh. Of course she was going to overtake them. We all knew it was going to happen. <laughs> yeah, more or less. Cousin McQueen. I 
At least you tried. I mean, you know, just some of you horse girls can't reach the potential she has. I mean, this is the same thing with some of you girls had to think, you know, deal with with season one with special week. I mean, special week was slow even the, in the dust. See, watching them eat is just making me hungry. I want food. I'm sorry. I haven't, e I haven't eaten yet. I'm hungry. And I got to clean today, too. And take care of my mom. But mainly clean. There you go. Florida? Huh? Okay, I got a quick question. Is she supposed to be a gato? Uh, I mean, because the way she talks. is similar to it but then uh, mm, i don't know almost like very similar to a valley girl well like how technically still is a valley girl heck i even talk like a valley girl <laughs> seriously Focus on yourselves. Hmm? Makes sense. Once again, married. <laughs> hmm? Oh. 
seriously, do they need this? Yeah, and she, of course, needs the stamina to handle it. I mean, Teo has really good stamina, but to run something like that, that's like a what? Um, oh, my God, what's the word? Um, uh, Iron Man. There we go. There we go. Yeah, I was like, what the fuck is <laughs> Or like a triathlon where it's just, you know, it's running, it's swimming, and it's biking. Except, you know, it's just straight up running for these girls. What's wrong? <laughs> hmm? Why is this girl looking like Nico from Love Live? Let me tail her and be suspicious. <laughs> oh, I do the same thing too. Oh, boba. Never had boba. Of course, McQueen's busy too. The camera had no business to do what they just did. <laughs> the animators had no business to do what they just did, but they did it. <laughs> oh, poor baby. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be fine. Special weight. Oh! My 
and that's why we don't work out with friends. We work out by ourselves. Oh, she's so cute! But seriously, yes, this is why we don't work out with friends. Sometimes in the end, you just got to work out by yourself. <laughs> oh god Poor baby, I mean... <laughs> Please, no. <laughs> oh, God. Like, what if she ends up saying, yeah, gold, stand all the way up.
Well, you won't know until you try. He's so cute. Yeah. That McQueen is the hare and Teo's the tortoise? Or is it the other way around? I really wouldn't let a friend like Special Week distract me <laughs> from almost bringing my friends back. Like, oh my god, this child, not, by, not twice, but three times, distracted McQueen with donuts. I mean, yes, you know, <clears throat> Special Week is a growing girl. She's hungry all the time. I mean, hey, hey, this is the same chick who sent her girlfriend. How many? I mean, I get it, but okay. So here's my thing. From what the newspapers and the articles and interviews and everything else that's being portrayed for this race, of course, this is one of the most biggest anticipated races of the year because we've seen we've seen in the past episodes, but they're more in favor of Teo winning rather than McQueen. There's maybe like some people who are also like in favor of McQueen winning than Teo and such. We don't really know, but... The training that they're doing, I, I love it, one, two, I mean, still the end, they're going to still be, like, each other's biggest cheerleaders, Teo's still going to cheer for McQueen and McQueen for Teo because they're good friends and also rivals at the same time. Anything could really happen next week. Of course, everyone else, um, Gold, Vodka, Scarlet, um, Speck, uh, freaking Shizuka, even though she is not here. <laughs> You still want her to be here, but no, she's in America. Um, they're all cheering for them, and that's good. Bourbon. <laughs> Bourbon? Bourbon. Let's talk about Bourbon real quick. Number one, her outfit. Every outfit that we've seen from season one and season two, I do love. I really, really love the outfits that they use for when they're racing. I think it really accentuates not only, like, their character, their style, and it's like that, but also, like, maybe just their aesthetic. Who knows? I don't know why, <laughs> when I was looking, and, and this ain't no offense, but, like, immediately I got feels to this, and I was about to say something, but I was like, no, I'm gonna wait until the end of the episode. When I looked at her outfit, I instantly got Simpho Gear vibes, like, mm, not really, like, Hibiki, more, um, Tsubasa 
Chris, maybe even Best Girl Maria, and um, oh my God, what's your name? Oh my God. No, not I. I can't remember her name. Oh my God. Oh my God. And I just watched this show. <laughs> in my head and so many characters and names i can't remember her freaking name oh my god what is her name it's gonna take me a minute just to care <laughs> and i you know what i'm just gonna we're gonna look it up we're gonna look it <laughs> we are about to look this up because i know her name she's literally like my third or fourth best girl No, not me. Shit of it. There we go. <laughs> Shit of <laughs> I'm so sad. <laughs> but yeah, like when I instantly looked at it and the style of it, because it is like very techno vibes and everything, I was just like, yeah. I was like, I feel like, because this is just me, especially when you're looking at how some shows, and especially whether it's anime, live action, cartoons whatever will usually inspire other shows it seems like some of the outfits are inspired by other animes and stuff like that you know people because you know we like to watch anime so of course we're gonna get inspired by something especially when you like outfits or characters or story and then you want to create your own thing and use a little bit of what you liked in your own thing maybe i don't know but yeah it was a pretty outfit but next week could go anyway McQueen could possibly win and Tao could win. I feel like McQueen has a lot more to live for because the fact is of her name, especially her grandma. Um, something kind of tells me her grandma was also a horse girl racer as well. Even though we really didn't see her face, we only really saw maybe like mm, more or less the back of her head, never really the front and ish like that. So something tells me that points to yes because the fact is McQueen's family is very high up in the horse girl association organization whatever um and because they are rich and high and powerful McQueen has a little more to live for rather well not really to live for to lose rather than Teo. Teo is just like Teo is very similar to special week because of the fact is we really haven't gotten like a really good backstory on Teo and how she was raised when she was growing up. Episode 1 kind of gives it to you, but not as much to the point where it's like, I feel like I know every little detail about Teo's story, how she was raised and growing up and it's like that. But we know her dream was to be where her, her prize is currently right now and to possibly even raise her prize and stuff. But with McQueen. McQueen has been in that social circle. She's very similar to a lot of um, other rich girls and other animes and TV shows that I've seen before, but she's not the 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 typical stereotype where I'm a rich girl and I'm a mean girl and I'm gonna like not pity you but put you down. Instead, she's really nice. She's like she's literally like best girl Haru from Persona 5. Not like a well Haru's a Mary Sue type of character, but um, yeah, because there are kind of times where McQueen does not really understand what the fuck is going on and, like, how people talk. It's like the girl who possibly is a gutter and what's her face and they're now a little partnership connection or whatever because Chick couldn't understand what the heck the girl was saying. I couldn't understand what she said. She possibly talks like a freaking gutter slash valley girl and, like I said, I talk like one. Um, but yeah, I, I just, I feel like th this is gonna make or break not really their friendship, but what they're going to do next after this because this is I'm not going to say it's like a final chapter it's more of a final showdown between the two until you know we get another moment where they do race each other again and that could be later on in the second half of the show who knows but this is going to determine between the two who's the better race girl and where that girl is going horse girl horse race girl um what it's going to be like for one of them and then whoever doesn't win 
what are the things that he um, did I just say he wrong thing she is going to um essentially have to deal with especially if McQueen is the one who loses I felt like her grandmother's going to lose all sort of respect for her she I don't think she's going to be kicked out of the house but she's going to be one of those where it's like oh my god this was a rich girl and now because of the fact that she's lost even though technically she also lost what last week and nobody really especially your grandmother possibly batted an eye about it she did say something in this episode about it but not to the point where it's like you know if you lose I'm like I'm disowning you so like I said yes she has a lot more to lose than Teo I can't even tell you what Teo could lose I, I literally have nothing she McQueen has so much more to gain and lose Teo just has everything to gain because this is going to boost her into popularity and possibly be up there to the point where she can stand next to her prez as an equal slash rival it's the same thing with mcqueen and teo how they can stand with each other as equals and as rivals but after this next episode next week one is going to be you know more on the totem pole and the other one's gonna slowly but surely fall down and sink maybe i don't know we just gotta wait until next week but other than that guys that is my reaction to this episode four of season two of pretty derby if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like really helps me out also subscribe to my channel i make videos every single day join my subscribe and of course i will see you guys officially all next monday for episode five bye guys